Well everyone, hello. I know it's been a while since I did a video, but I just pulled my colonies out of diapause and I wanted to show you what can happen. What you're looking at is one of my larger pogo colonies. My second largest, in fact. And if you can't tell, there is a lot of dead workers. Now, I do not know if the queen has survived or not, but I'd say they lost 80 to 90% of workers. Turn this around. She has a few work. There's still a few workers alive, but if you look, dead workers in the middle chamber up top. There's some live ones there, but I do not know if the queen has survived or not. I'm going to have to uh, transfer this colony back into something smaller because, well, this is too much space for him now. Now, I normally have a, a strict regimen I do with colonies when I put them in diapause and check on them. And I look for this, but somehow I miss this. I'm going to have to go over my notes to figure out what happened. But I think I missed a, a, a watering or something. Because this looks like pretty much they didn't get enough water during diapause. Now, I'm hoping the queen is still alive. I have not seen her. I'm going to have to wait and see. Let them clear it out. See where they're at see what formicarium I got to move them into but this is the only colony I had I had a half a dozen seven in diapause and this is the only one with significant losses all the rest lost maybe one or two workers they did really well but this will happen that's why you got to keep a strict regimen water feed check you got to look for workers that aren't hanging out with each other that are dead or curled up on their backs, as you're seeing here. Which I really, really don't want to see, but even experienced night keepers can make mistakes. But now I want to show you something very special. This lady right here. Let me see if I can get a book under her to lift her up. I'm gonna zoom in. This lady came out of diapause and she has proceeded all on her own. All those workers in her are there. No brood boosting. Let's see if I can turn it so you can see her brood a little bit better. But there's her brood. She's got about six workers and she's they're blowing up. She's doing really well off a, a daily or every other day I give her a fruit fly. Give you another. Let's see if we got something here I can show you that's not too covered up with seeds. They sure love to do that though, don't they? Alright. All that brood right there. Brood right there. This was a another form of podzilica colony. This one actually did get boosted last year and it's doing outstandingly well but I will not be doing that again I don't need to that was just from workers I found in a construction site a, a dying nest I should say uh, here's one of the colonies I took out with the same time as the one that lost all its workers As you can see doing quite well See if I can give you a good update on one of my Neoclairs. Oh yeah, this one right here. I had to move her because I had an issue. And as you can see, look at all the brood. She's got steady new stream of workers daily. Quite a few, I feed them fruit flies every other day, honey every three days. She's doing extremely well. This is Neo Clara here. But yes, when you do put your ants in diapause, follow a strict regiment, have a calendar, keep an eye, steady eye on them, make sure you check everyone. I'm thinking I just made, missed one and that was all it wrote. See, here's another one I just took out of diapause. There's the queen right there. You can see her up in the top left corner. 
she was in at the same time for as long and there's only a handful of dead workers i've counted seven dead workers in this one there she is she should start laying here soon that's why i suggest when you are uh Raising ants that you have multiple colonies of each species because you never know what can go wrong. Let's see, what else can I show you here real quick? Well, maybe I can show you this one. This is my third Neoclara. She's actually doing quite well. You can see that nice little brood pile. I know it's a little dirty. There we go. She started out this year with three workers. She overwintered with three workers. And now look at her. She's got a nice huge pile growing quickly. My goal this year is to hopefully get some Campanatus and some honeypot ants. Now I've been told that there's honeypot ants to the east of me in the Prairie National, Pawnee National Grasslands. I can't wait to find out. But anyways, everybody, thank you for watching, and I will try and upload more often here soon.